When it comes to shooting foxes at seemingly impossible distances, Mark Ripley is the master. He has the kit, he has the technique. Today he faces a different challenge. He's controlling rabbits on a couple of his permissions on the Sussex Downs, and the kit is different. For this job, he chooses an unusual combination of new and old, the latest high-tech Hick Micro Optics. He's got a Falcon Thermal Spotter and the Alpex Day-Night Scope mounted on an ancient CZ-22 rifle. Long gone are the days when we would be carting around a motorcycle battery and a lamp and stuff, and acid holes in the jackets and things like that. These sort of units now, I mean, that just looks like a normal day scope and it's just so efficient. There's no trading leads or anything. And we're using bits of kit like this, like thermal spot. I mean, this, this sort of... Uh, technology is a real game changer obviously if you can't see something you can't shoot it and the, the trouble with lamps and things was if you had a, a fox say that was out in a, in a field in a tram line or whatever and you scan that field with a lamp then unless that fox looks straight at you and you got the eye shine very often you could easily miss that but with a thermal unit they just can't hide from that so why does mark stick with the 22 rimfire a caliber that dates back more than 100 years and not the more modern 1.7 HMR. A lot of people now for rabbit control now are sort of going over to the 17 HMR, which as well is a brilliant caliber, but they've each got their pros and cons. So, um, but yeah, for me, I just I just like the 2.2. I've had it for a long time and, and uh, yeah, just familiar with it. And I just like the fact that it's too quiet. So uh, you can quite often knock over one or two more rabbits with this, I feel, than what you would with the HMR in, in certain conditions. So that's really where the 2-2 the two, two shines using subsonic ammunition. That's what makes it so quiet. Uh, if you start going down the route of using high velocity ammunition, then you're gonna get that, that supersonic crack from the rifle like the HMR. So then you, you pretty much, you might as well just go and use a HMR. <laughs> We're using 2-2 two, two, uh, Winchester X subsonic ammunition this evening, which this rifle and uh, it seems a lot of CZ seem to quite like that ammunition. And yeah, it's proved pretty effective over the time I've had this rifle. We head to a gateway overlooking a field that's popular with rabbits. Mark hopes they will come out once it starts to get dark. It's a long, cold wait. Eventually, he spots one with the falcon. Even though it's almost dark, the Alpex still shows the green of the grass as bright as day. It's the first one down. There's a couple out, James. Two down, or three down. A few rabbits there, all nice, healthy looking rabbits. All headshot. Uh, furthest one I think was about 65, 70 yards, and the other two were about 50. Yeah, good start to the evening. Happy with that. We're gonna head up to the golf course and just see if we can thin out a few rabbits up there. There's not masses up there, but you only need a few rabbits on there to, uh, to cause a bit of a problem. They will uh, dig up the greens and um, yeah, they're, they're not welcome on there at all. So we've gone into night vision mode on the, uh, on the Alpex there. And we've got the um, PBIR illuminator on there. And that's all looking good. At the moment, on this bit, I'm only seeing a couple of rabbits out, which <laughs> is a bit worrying, but I'm sure there'll be a few more out on some of the other greens, so we're going to go and have a, a little wander around and see what we can find. So we've got four or five fallow does just stood in front of us there, about probably, they're probably about 70 yards, I'd say. Mm. 
there's a few, it looks like rabbits sort of in the in the trees now on the edge of the course, but I can only just see little bits of heat in amongst the uh, in amongst the cover, so it's uh, very difficult to tell exactly what you're looking at because it could be any living thing when it's uh, just a little bit of heat shining between the leaves. Um, it's almost certainly rabbits, but you can't just go shooting just at an eye shine and, unless you can ID it as a rabbit. healthy rabbit again headshot so didn't know much about that right let's see if we can find a couple more Right, so we've had a, a decent bag there of eight rabbits. We had three in daylight earlier, and we've just had the others up on the uh, golf course here, all using the uh, Alpex and the 2-2. So it's been a, a nice combination, and we've managed to spot everything with the Falcon here. Again, another nice, very clear bit of kit. So yeah, um, it's made for a really nice setup, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, it's a, a good result because we didn't have all that many rabbits up here, or at least not that are out this early in the evening. So, yeah, we've uh, done all right there. To learn more about the scope and spotter that Mark is using, go to night vision expert Scott Country. Link below. And you can see more from Mark on his YouTube channel, 260 Rips.